anybody who's in real estate who's watching this today, you see the headlines all over the news. It's a tough market right now. Inventory is down, sales are down all across the board. And you're one of the top producers on our team. It's simple, honestly, yeah. it's, it's that simple. You just need to be consistent and understand that it's not gonna happen overnight and just stay consistent and find a joy in doing those things. All right, what's up guys? Well, welcome to another episode of the Hustle and Heart podcast. And I got a special guest today, business partner, Herbert Montano, Team PRG. What's up you guys? Welcome bro. I was thinking of, before we jumped on here, like what should we talk about and what should we call this episode? And I think what I wanna get into today is really how to thrive and have success in the tough market right now, right? If anybody who's in real estate who's watching this today, you see the headlines all over the news. It's, it's a tough market right now. Inventory is down, sales are down mm -hmm. all across the board. And somehow you are still finding ways to win and still keep that momentum and that pace up and you know, compete with your previous years in business. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you're one of the top producers on our team. So you're obviously doing things that are working right now. You know, and I know there's a lot to it. So I wanted to kind of break that down and just talk a little bit about like how you're finding success right now, you know, and maybe speak to the agents out there who are struggling or need some uh, motivation or a plan, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, definitely an interesting market. It's uh, tough, uh, I, I would say in a few different ways, right? Yeah. Tough on the sellers, tough on the buyer side, right? Um, but it's that's a, that's a bit of a, a bit of an interesting question, right? Yeah. It's uh, you know, I, I with with our model and our current team, I don't think I really have a, a lead problem, right? We're on on you know on Zillow platform, so we're getting a bunch of leads. Um, we're having all types of conversations, mm -hmm. right? So I think that currently, you know, a lot of my success has come from, or at least in the past few months, yeah. right, has come from staying organized and also staying just mentally and spiritually prepared for for the challenges, right? Just kind of rolling with the punches, but at the same time, um, just keeping keeping morale up mm -hmm. um, so that I can stay um, uh, maybe more excited and more motivated than my clients are, right? <laughs> yeah. right? Because uh, I think that our, at least uh, the buyers, right? Uh, primarily, I uh, uh, work with buyers. I'm sure they're excited, right? You know, they're, they're happy that they're in the market to buy a home, but they're, they're also, they also have to roll with the punches too, yeah. right? So, uh, interest rates just went up, yeah. right? Uh, <laughs> oh, there's no inventory, uh, or at least limited. There, there's inventory, yeah, there's inventory. It's very limited, right? But it's limited, right? Oh, I have to compromise with uh, uh, certain things as a home buyer. Yeah. So as an agent, I also have to think um, three-dimensionally. Hey, I know you're not so excited about those green carpets from the 1960s, but I have a flooring guy. Yeah. Right. There you so go. cool. Motivation up again. Um, I know the interest rates just went up a quarter of a, a point, right? Yeah. But does the monthly payment still work for you guys? Uh, we can still make it happen. Great. Let's let's stay, let's keep it going, right? Yeah. So it's like you gotta you you have to kind of look at both sides of the coin. Uh, we're still in the game, so you know try to keep my motivation up so that I can share that enthusiasm and, and um, excitement about the process with my clients. Yeah. Awesome, man. Let's let's pick that apart. You said a lot of a lot of things yeah. right there. And, <laughs> And I heard a couple things. I heard you say, I don't have a lead problem, right? And I want to talk a little bit about that. Yeah. I heard you say, you know, keeping yourself as excited or even yeah. more excited than the clients, right? So I want to, I want to touch on that. And then a, a big part is spinning these negatives and turning them into a positive, right? Yeah, yeah. If I had to just decipher what you said right there, there was three kind of main points that stood out. Mm -hmm. And let's kind of break those down. The lead problem, right? Let's talk about that, right? Let's talk about why it's important to have a consistent flow of leads. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're fortunate to be partnered with Zillow and other ways that we market and get leads and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. what role has that played in your success of having that consistent flow of leads? Yeah, well, um, I can only speak from where I stand right now. I'm year number three full-time, mm -hmm. full-time as a, a real estate agent. So, you know, right now, I'm so, super fortunate to have the uh, the partnership that we have with uh, with Zillow. So that's that's one pillar of business, right? So that's kind of, I would say, that's the insurance plan, 
There you right, go. that's the insurance plan. Um, it's it's amazing. I mean, I've made a lot of friends through through meeting multiple clients through Zillow. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I'm also super, you know, follow up uh, heavy. Yep. So I have past clients. Hey, how's everything going? Right. I think sometimes as salespeople and agents, we like to kind of, you know, we're almost afraid to follow up with our clients. Sometimes, We're like, what if something went wrong with the house? Well, it's a house. Things are going to come up, right? Yeah. Be a friend. Like follow up and see if there's anything that they need right yeah. you know so um just follow up and say hey how's everything going you know great amazing maybe they've had a child you know maybe they they, they love their neighborhood and it's uh take a deep interest in that and then of course never uh forget to ask for referrals yeah right hey i i love you know working with you guys do you have any other uh uh, friends or family members, yeah, right, that are just like you. I would love to work with you know with yeah. them as well. Um, but social media, right? Uh, I love you know. Uh, in the beginning, I didn't like hearing my own voice on camera, <laughs> yeah. so that's the first hurdle, and then seeing your own face on on social media. But one thing that I did not like more than posting videos was making cold calls. <laughs> yeah. So um, the, you know, uh, the, the greater pain always wins. Yeah. So, you know, I need leads, right? So I'm, I, I, let, me, let me try social media first. Yeah. And I'm still making my cold calls, but, yeah. um, you know, if I can generate more business from, you know, uh, organically through Facebook, Instagram. Yeah. I'm not on TikTok or all those other ones. I'm sure I'm leaving money on the table, but... Uh, and just from those lead sources, you know, I've been able to uh, uh, follow up, keep yeah. keep in touch with my friends and my family through social media. Mm -hmm. uh, again, referrals, uh, and really just that's those are my those are my main pillars. Just yeah. you know, social media referrals, uh, Zillow. Um, it's simple, honestly. Yeah. It's it's that simple. You just need to be consistent and understand that it's not going to happen overnight. Yeah. Um, and just stay consistent and find a joy in doing those things. And, and I think it's important how you talk about pillars, right? And you talked about this in our team meeting the other day, that as a salesperson, as a business person, right, in, in real estate, you need to have multiple pillars, right? Mm -hmm. So Zillow can also be substituted with whatever other way you're getting mm -hmm. leads, whether you're door knocking, open houses, anything like that. Zillow is just, it's a lead source, right? Mm -hmm. But the great thing that you're doing is you're diversifying your lead sources. So yeah, you're you're getting leads, online leads, Zillow, other online sources, and then you're really doing a great job and turning those into your past clients. Mm -hmm. And now those initial leads are starting to give you referrals, right? Yeah. And you're staying in touch with your past clients, which is your database now. Mm -hmm. And then you're actively promoting yourself on social media, right? Yeah. And it's like you got three solid pillars, and I heard you're starting to go after listings now too. Right. Yeah, slowly yeah. starting to maybe roll that into a, another pillar. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the the listing side, um, I'm not. I should. I'm not pursuing it heavily. Yeah. That's the next step. That's the next phase in my business, of course. Yeah. But as as uh, it's it's also happening. Yeah. Like you know, your your buyers are like seeds. It's a long term play, right? Mm -hmm. And eventually, if you keep up to date with them, you build that relationship, keep that relationship. Those are slowly turning into listings as well. Um, I, I'm, I'm even running into, you know, some of my buyers need to sell too. Yeah. So that's happening. Um, but that's definitely the next, another pillar that I should be focusing on right now. But, um, and time in the business yeah. too, right? Like you being in the business, like you said, three years now, mm -hmm. now you're running into those friends, family, clients who are sellers, right? Mm -hmm. For whatever reason. Yeah. And you're still around. You're still the guy that's out there yeah. raising your hand, putting yourself on social media. And they're like, all right, we got to go to Herbin. He's the guy that's always showing value and showing his wins, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And it's... Um yeah, it's something. It's something that's definitely. Uh, it's gonna keep the, the the business very exciting and interesting for me. Yeah. Right. It's that new frontier. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, just just keep stay, make the career keep it interesting. Yeah. yeah. So leads, right? Like that was the whole the whole thing, right? Is doing these different avenues that bring you a consistent flow of leads. So mm -hmm. leads is not the problem because you're doing all of these things yeah. that keeps the opportunities full for you, right? Mm -hmm. The next thing that, that we pointed out was keeping yourself motivated, right? Mm -hmm. Even more motivated than the clients. How do you do that, man? How do you, where does that come from? Is there anything <laughs> specifically you do to keep yourself motivated, to keep yourself in the right mindset, in the right headspace, to bring that energy? Because you always bring a lot of energy. What is that? Yeah. Channel that. 
Um, it's, I mean, more than motivation, it's just like organization and consistency mm -hmm. because the motivation is not always there, but as long as you're consistent with your calendar and, uh, you know, it's like, I'm sure everybody, you know, watching this video, you've, you've heard it many, many times, right? But there's such a deep truth and fundamental truth to that, Yeah. right? So, you know, the in the last, I would say like the last eight months, I've been, more organized than motivated mm -hmm. so so i've been you know i've been like uh i need a vacation what do i need but i'm still closing deals yeah i'm still you know producing even though my motivation isn't there but i'm just organized yeah right now when you when you close a deal and you get a family into escrow then that kind of helps like yes it feels good right yeah so i guess the motivation is like transitory it's it's there mm -hmm. um but lately in the last um two weeks um i've i've been hitting the gym again get pushing the limit in terms of how early i'm waking up and psychologically um emotionally spiritually um feeling motivated I'm not reading any books. I'm, I should. Yeah. Um, but it's just my phys my physicals feeling really good. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm not drinking. Cut the alcohol off. Um, so I feel motivated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. I feel excited, but not because I want to sell more houses. Just because I'm doing good. Yeah. To myself. So it's just automatically happening. Yeah. Right. So now. Um, my mind is kind of shifting now yeah. we're like how can i get more creative with my business yeah how can i get closer to my clients how could i be myself more with them so that they could be closer and be themselves more with me That's but dope. it's just happening by itself yeah because i'm starting with myself i'm taking care of my body first um i'm taking you know i'm pushing myself in the morning i'm you know yeah and 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 it, it's 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 shifting into my business and even though i'm waking up at, like at 4 30 now in the morning <laughs> i even though i'm yawning and things like that i have no problem working till 10. Yeah. i try not to i try not to that's not you know it's not healthy <laughs> yeah but um it's somehow the the grit in the morning is creeping into the afternoons mm. so the morning consults I mean, the afternoon consults and the afternoon offer consults and the phone calls don't really feel like work. It's just, it's, it's just that that gray is, is shifting into the afternoons now, yeah. and it's only been two weeks. Yeah. Right. So I'm I'm really excited to see what I do for the rest of the year now that I'm doing this because I was already doing well before that. Yeah. And yeah. I, I think what you're describing, man, is that you explain a, a, an important thing is that motivation will go up and down, yeah. right, throughout life, seasons and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But you've committed to the work, mm -hmm. to the daily routine, to the daily habits, whether it's staying organized in your business, your follow-ups, your consoles, now the gym, all that different stuff. Mm -hmm. You're proving to yourself that you can do it regardless if you're motivated or not because you just mm -hmm. committed to the plan, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that in turn feeds your motivation because you're like hey look at me like whether i feel good or not or tired or not i'm still doing it and then you're kind of reaffirming to yourself that you're capable and worthy and all those different things that come with it right yeah and and a big shift to that too is like again everybody's heard stay organized yeah that's not a secret but the way that i've been doing it is I'm going deep into how I'm staying organized. Mm. So right within our company, we've been uh, making that shift of how to properly use our CRM. Yeah. Right. So we've had PowerPoint for years, right? Um, but now dive deep, right? Mm -hmm. This is your toy. This mm -hmm. is your tool, mm -hmm. PowerPoint. So uh, which is our CRM. So now we're going in deep. Like, what can this thing? really do yeah like have i like 
it's like a it's like a Ferrari. You can own it, park it in the car. I have a Ferrari. You could talk about it. You could drive it, you know, here and there. But are you really pushing that gas? Yeah. Right. So that's Firepoint. That's your CRM. So go into it and really dive deep into what it could actually do. Maybe even a better better a metaphor, analogy, whatever it is, than a Ferrari is an iPhone. Right. We use it to watch videos. We use it to record an occasional video here and there. A phone call and Google. But this thing can do a lot more than that, yeah. right? So go deep. What can this thing really do? And that's yeah. your CRM. So go deep, um, get excited about your tools, and see how your tool can really keep you motiv uh, uh, not motivated, but like really organized. Yeah, I like that, man. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're looking for like this outside new thing, mm -hmm. and it's the thing that's right in front of us, mm -hmm. where if we just take the time to pick it apart, mm -hmm. make it better, go deeper with it, Boom, you start to unlock different levels, mm -hmm. right? And, and that's, what, that's what you're describing right now. I got one more thing that to ask you, right? The, another point that, that you talked about in the beginning is turning those negatives into a positive, right? Mm -hmm. What advice, like the rate's going up. You said you talked to your client, right? Focusing, shifting the focus on instead of the rate, you're going to the payment. Maybe talk about that a little bit more, right? And why that's so important right now. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, you know, I've been, maybe I'm lucky, maybe I'm not, maybe it's the market, but less and less buyers that I've been meeting with don't really have that sticker shock anymore. Mm. From the higher rates, they are still going up, unfortunately, but everybody is aware of it. Yeah. Everybody's aware of it, it's the new reality. What I've been experiencing in the market is these, these buyers are actually more afraid to mm -hmm. to to wait for the rates to come down uh, okay because they know that the market right now is it's expensive but m the more buyers that i'm talking to right now that have been keeping up with the market and I've, I've been experiencing a lot of buyers who are talking to their friends who bought in 2021 and 2022 uh and they 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 know the stories of the competition when the rates are down. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the buyers that I'm working with right now are trying to avoid that competition mm -hmm. when the rates come down. Yeah, there, There's still a lot of buyers out there that don't wanna buy because the rates are up, but I'm experiencing more buyers yeah. that are afraid of what that that market's gonna look like. Got it. So, that, so the rates are high. Hey, you know what the good news? is that you're talk to a CPA. Yeah. <laughs> you have a bigger uh, tax deduction. Yeah. And you have to, you, when the rates drop, you have a lot to look forward to as a homeowner in the yeah. future. So that's the, the shift, right? And a lot of buyers right now are understanding of that. Yeah. Um, inventory is low, mm -hmm. right? But, and what is it, um, August? Mm -hmm. But the good news is, is that whether this is true or not, I can't guarantee it, but historically, the market slows down a little bit, Yeah. right? Um, as we enter these winter months, right? Some parents kind of take a break from the market, um, so you may experience less competition, um, but the key is, the key to me yeah. is to stay consistent as a real estate agent, and the key to you as a home buyer is to stay, stay consistent and keep an eye on the market. <laughs> yeah. Because you never know when the right home might, might come out. That's true. Right? Uh, I've, I've toured tons of homes when inventory was better with a home buyer, and it wasn't an inventory problem. It was a problem of finding the right home for them. Mm. So even though inventory is low, great. That means you don't have to spend hours on Zillow because there's only 10, 15 homes to look for, yeah. look, look through. Let's just let's just look for the right one. The right one. Is it, so that's another way to think about it. Yeah. And then as as long as I'm consistent as a realtor and as long as you're consistent as a home buyer, when that right one comes up or if I happen to find the right one off market, um, let's go. That's all we need. Yeah. We were only buying one house. Yeah, that's true, man. <laughs> I, I like that. I like that that mindset and that approach of, of how you're looking at it, right? Because yeah. you're obviously looking out for the client by making sure it's the right home, right? Mm -hmm. And then you're also painting the picture for them because those are all valid points, right? Is you're not buying an interest rate, mm -hmm. right? You're buying the home, right? Mm -hmm. And you're buying the monthly payment, right? Can you afford it? And 
if it's a long-term investment, mm -hmm. it's when you get into the market that's really going to pay off, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. The, the monthly payment's the most important thing. Yeah. We're, we can't convince anybody to buy a house. Yeah. There's no way. It's, uh, it may be a good idea, but it, 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 it just depends uh, on, on the person that you're trying to help. Yeah. We're not trying to force anyone to buy anything. Mm -hmm. We're just here to help people achieve their goal. Yeah. They thought about buying a house, yeah. right? So, you know, like I said, if the monthly payment makes sense, if you can afford it, and if the home makes sense, the neighborhood is good for you, let's go for it, yeah. right? Uh, I'm here and I'm ready when, when you are, right? So that's that's my approach, and um, people people react well to that, you know? People don't like pressure. Yeah. I don't like pressure. Yeah. So, you know, it's just a matter of being there, being with there for that person, uh, do your... <laughs> do your job as yeah. a real estate agent and send them homes yeah don't wait for them to look for the homes uh, that, that's what we do best yeah and that's what you we should do best yeah. <laughs> and um you know be there for your client and uh you know come from a place of understanding yeah. um you know and uh help them achieve achieve their goal yeah wow that was good, man. <laughs> that was good stuff right there. A lot of, lot of insight, man. I, I think we hit it. Um, I know you're busy. You got probably got like seven appointments lined up for today. And uh, I just want to say I appreciate you joining me. I know it took some time to get you on here to make the schedules match. But I do also want to let you know, man, that I'm extremely proud of you, man. Extremely proud of you. Thank you. Uh, grateful for your partnership. And just uh, it's awesome to see your growth over the past few years and your success. And now you're even leading the squad on our team. And mm -hmm. you're able to mentor the new agents, man. And just, just keep doing what you're doing, man. Yeah, I know. Thank you so much. And uh, and I want to say thank you and big props to you, um, you know, for, you know, starting these squads and allow us to kind of experiment with these things. Um, you know, I have a lot more, uh, even more appreciation and respect and admiration for you because I've always mentored agents one-on-one. -on -one. That's easy. Yeah. <laughs> but now running a squad, I'm just like, how do I motivate these guys all at once, yeah. right? Yeah. It's, it's definitely a challenge. I'm only responsible for four agents, but I think that's another uh, step for me to kind of improve as a, as a leader, as an agent, and uh, yeah, so thank you for that opportunity. Oh, yeah. All right, there you guys have it. Hope you guys got some nuggets out of this. Uh, Hustle and Heart, Herbert Montano. Make sure you uh, follow him on social media. And if you got any referrals, if you want to collaborate, Herbert's an open book too as well. If you need tips or advice for your uh, business, feel free to reach out to him on social media and he'll take care of you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Herbin M. Realtor, Instagram. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, guys.